Hello, uh, this is Mark Boyer and this is part three of Freedom for Dummies, um, appropriately called because we're all entering brave new waters and uh, that's just the way it is. Okay, this video is going to be concerning the growers out there in Canada. Okay, basically you're having this one shot deal to clean up your act across the next six seven months okay it, every industry has to go through it uh, all industries uh, start with co-ops okay uh, the, like the marketing of anything and I'll use an example of here in Vancouver there's a mountain equipment co-op store that at one time uh, the city insisted had to be run through a co-op so that the city wouldn't have liability for anybody to be using all that dangerous stuff on mountains and cliffs. And uh, they got over it, okay? There's all kinds of mountain equipment co-op stores like who aren't co-op anymore, but, you know, they're still around, okay? And uh, that's exactly true with uh, the, the cannabis industry. It's uh, having to do it through co-ops. Because the city is protected from liability uh, in the event you screw up. Okay, it, it gives the city an arm's length agreement, uh, length thing, and the next logical step will be the liquor stores. Uh, marijuana will never be sold at a Seven Eleven in Canada, at least. It, it just, I, I, it, it's, it just won't. Well, liquor stores is probably good enough. Okay. Uh, because, uh, oh no, miners won't be able to get into liquor stores? Great. Okay, uh, what else can I say? Now, let's carry on. Uh, let's consider every grower in Canada, okay? Uh, basically, everyone in Canada needs to go to get one of these signed up, okay? That's your Quadra uh, BCMMAR Trust Fund. Now, that costs you $42, okay? And it actually becomes your deposit on your offshore bank account, and it's your overdraft protection on your card that you'll shortly be able to use at any uh, dispensary, and there'll be lots of them to pick from. You can use it at the Internet dispensaries that in Vancouver that will be opening very shortly okay now the $42 is necessary because it puts you in a federal agency and technically you're allowed to have your possession of marijuana you're allowed to have your bonds you're allowed to have this here and it gives you free uh, the, you're actually in a trust fund and you can't be charged for the articles of your belief anymore period okay and it from that it's you can be charged for playing outside the box okay that's all there is to it you're a grower doesn't matter what, what class. You could be the worst criminal grower. Okay? What you have to do is send $420 as a gift, as a donation to the, uh, our Quadra EDA. And again, uh, the whole idea here is uh, it's not a money grab here. Okay? It's called a, in law, you're the donor in a trust fund. You have to donate something. Okay? Period. You, you got to donate it. Okay? It's otherwise you're not the donor of a trust fund. Okay? So you give this $420 and it gets you into this club, a, a society within that society, the 420 Quadra Society. And that one's called the Canada, the Cannabis Cultural Guild. And you're parked there. Okay? With your four, now, how to get yourself parked there with your equipment. Okay? 
is go out there, add up all the lights, ballast, tables, everything. Everything that the cops would go in, seize, and bust. And all those things you need in your co-op later on the other side of the line. Okay? Just add up all your, your, your equipment and they actually become uh, chattel. Okay? They, they're covered under the category of chattel. Uh, now let's take an example of someone who has 50 lights. Okay? You have 50 lights. That means under an MMPR program or an MMAR program, or you're just a criminal. Okay, you have 50 lights. Uh, that means you have some of your last inventory of, and that would be 50 pounds, because three months is three, 50 pounds, okay? For just even numbers, I don't care. We're just making numbers here, okay? Now, that means you have in production another 50 pounds, okay? And those are called fungible goods. Okay, now that are chattel property as well. Now, come up with a full retail value for let's say you got 10 pounds left at $2,000. That's $20,000. You have 50 pounds in the field at $2,000, which is another, uh, whatever, $100,000. And that and that and all your equipment. For a 50 light operation, it's not hard to believe that you have about $200,000 worth of equipment to sign over, okay? And you don't want busted or lost, okay? Now, what you do is you talk to the trustee, okay? Or we'll direct you one in your area. Try a lawyer. Maybe a lawyer can do this, okay? But the reality is you do all three columns and it, you, it adds up to a total, say, $200,000. And now you take that, you go and you give us a 10% deposit. Okay? So that's $20,000. You're, you know, we're washing it all. Technically, we're, we're giving you a receipt for $200,000. Okay? You're paying $20,000. And now all of your inventory is bonded inventory. Um, your crop, you can crop off that last 50 pounds. Okay, from the moment you pay the $420, you know, you can uh, say, okay, that that's the last day you put a clone in the ground. Okay, so for you got three months to, uh, of holding on to your inventory until uh, you're a valid, uh, you find an open a co-op uh, dispensary or uh, join as a provider to a co-op dispensary. And they'll be popping up all over the place. Okay, uh, That's why we can offer general amnesty and still find you customers. Um, what can I say? Now, uh, Needless to say, uh, it will, it doesn't take hard math to figure out that our co-op, you know, our, uh, Quadra EDA and our peer trust, which is actually an offshore bank, uh, will have lots of money. Okay. Uh, and, uh, we really need an offshore account to handle these kind of funds. Okay. Uh, we're, we're not underfunded, okay? Uh, at no time do we ever expect to hand anybody a bill for anything, okay? Now, <laughs> now the reality is, is, uh, the inventory that you have, you can't sell without a receipt going to somebody, okay? Uh, and it's openly, open season. Find a city that would like a co-op and receive some tax money and, uh, Go to the Cooperative Act and, you know, the Co-op Act in your province and uh, sign up for a co-op with articles uh, saying, for art, with articles, okay? You got a mission statement. You got all these things. It's not rocket science to write a co-op act, okay? And the, each one varies in each province. Uh, we're open to about 10 different models of how you want to do a co-op. And uh, that's too long a video to do in one in one session.
Okay. Now, uh, that basic thing covers everybody there. Okay. Now, in a case of uh, growers, MMAR growers and MMPR growers, who already have a retail store and a uh, working arrangement with dispensary societies, um, you're ready uh, uh, to have what's called our POS system, a point of sale. And for growers, that's going to be point of seed. Okay, our, our program works both ways, and they meet, and that's what's so ironclad about our system is that it's a full circle system. Uh, it's a point of sale and a point of seed program, and they marry. And uh, again, I, I, it'll take a, at least a video to explain the full features of our logenic system. Uh, but without it, we would never be able to manage a peer trust properly. Okay. Uh, end of story uh, with the, and it's fully accredited it's fully bondable and it works uh, like a charm okay it'll take six months to coordinate all the little bells and whistles that the growers want but the mechanical function of uh, uh, having a logistic system of all your pot and how much pot you got and how much you can expect and all these beautiful tricks and bells and whistles this program offers to growers is impressive. Now, sales pitch. Okay, MMPR growers and MMAR growers can get a RPOS system uh, for three thousand bucks. Okay, that's it. It's three thousand bucks. It's at least one hundred twenty thousand dollars of the program, but uh, divide you know. $3,000 is your buy-in. It's a license thing. If you don't comply, you'll be locked out of the system until you comply. There's all kinds of, uh, it's a nice system. Okay. Uh, every look, what can you say? Once you see it working, it, it's a charm. All you have to do is enter the sale and enter anything that came in, you know, like a receivable and anything as a sellable. And, uh, it's done automatically. Uh, everyone's loading money. Uh, their deposit is going onto the good ship lollipop, onto the offshore account, and it's being bought on a credit card. Okay, and the, or a credit, a debit card. It's not a credit card. Debit card. Okay, and this debit card will be used to identify you at any place that has a POS. Okay. Now, the idea here is. Also, for the existing compassion clubs, okay, uh, every existing compassion club should uh, rally up their staff and join our 420 society, okay, because it really does give the staff of a compassion club, uh, a society, uh, huge leverage, okay, much better protection when uh, an RCMP comes in and says, are you prepared to pay your taxes? And you go, everyone here is in the 420 society. Uh, our paperwork is in due process. Our POS system is sitting over there waiting for our Elections Canada no notification to arrive. And uh, yes, we're prepared to pay our taxes. And uh, they'll turn on their heels and walk away. Uh, if uh, what can I say? If you come in uh, afterwards, uh, it's that line in the sand. Uh, the day you send me $42 uh, through a, can, a, a money gram, or if you're in Vancouver and know me personally, just go get a money a postal money order. Okay? You don't have to money gram it to me. You can, If you know me, hand it to me. And it's done. Okay? Uh, the post office is being dragged in because... Uh, we can't. It's deep constitutional reason. I won't accept payment by cash. I've had people offer me cash. Uh, I won't take it. Okay. It's, uh, it leads to counterfeiting my signature on anything and somebody saying, that's Mark Boyer's signature there. Well, where's your receipt? And it stops all the bullshit. Okay. It really does. Um, uh, what can I say? Uh, those who have stand under a claim of right have a right. Those who have do not stand under a claim of right 
have no such right. And uh, it's called peaceful trespass on the crown's domain. Um, that's why the primary rule is keep the peace and be of good behavior. Uh, the power contained of being your own federal agent under a peer trust will smooth out a lot of lumps in your life. Life, period, okay? Uh, Canadians, it's arguable that we, uh, that we lost that right back in World War II. There's an entire generation who have never known private individual rights. Uh, it's sad to say. Uh, but, you know, that's what we're trying to fix. We're trying to fix an ill in society and uh, uh, that's the way it goes. We're legalizing pot. Get over it. Uh, start looking up. Okay? It, it's a brave new world out there. And uh, all we are saying is give peace a chance. Thank you.